Um, my research is um, about service user and carer involvement. So by service users, I mean individuals who have long-term disease condition like mental health, um, obesity, hypertension, asthma, whatever. And the carers are those that take care of the um, service users. So it's about what service users and carers are bringing into the um, university, the education system as a whole. Before we had service users to some extent in um, mostly assessment of students, but now it's about integrating service users into all educational activities. And so my research is about finding out what impacts the involvement of service users and carers is in students' education. I would say my own personal um, experience because I had my first degree in a developing country so we didn't have much of patient interaction within the classroom so the first time we saw patients were in clinical practice and it was such a great transition between what happens in in class which is more theory based and then what happens in clinic in where you have a sick person who needs your care and your attention. So when the opportunity came to do this research, I felt like I'm the right person to do this research because I've experienced the two worlds. And it took a while for me to adjust to the two worlds of merging both what, have, what has been taught in, in class, because in classroom we could practice on each other. But now we had to practice on, and, um, on a living person and you don't want to make a mistake. There's so much pressure on you to get it right. So I really like the idea of you know, bringing, bridging the gap between the two. What I've found most successful to my um, study has been first the um, supervisory team. Although that was a little bit um, interesting because I did a master's degree and the master's degree was a taught program. So we had more or less more contact with the um, lecturers, but then when you move into the PhD, which is an independent study, it's almost like you lose yourself, sort of. You lose your confidence, you lose that environment. So the, the um, supervisory team, they were there for me to you know, help with the transition of being, um, from coming from the taught module um, settings to more of, more of the independent study. And as the research has progressed on, because I'm now in the second year, I can, I can say that truly I'm becoming more of the um, independent researcher that they want me to be. So, but they were there not just for the academic support, which is very, very important, signposting me to the various um, um, workshops, seminars across the universities that could help me improve my skills as a researcher, improve not just your research skills, but even your employability skills and everything. So they signposted me to those um, seminars and workshops across the university. I, I'm hoping that this research would, you know, um, influence not just um, the future health professionals, but even the way the medical health, social care, social work has been practiced currently. And at the same time, I believe that um, there isn't one way to, to students teaching, to students um, learning experience, to, to the way students are being taught. So having service users and carers coming into the educational system, you know, it brings, it brings such an awakening that, oh, there is, this, there is these people out there and these are the end recipients of our care.